Welcome to the Life Skills and Anger Management Program. So, um, our main purpose is to address uh, working on changing our attitude and perspective as it relates to life in general. And that's important from an anger management context because uh, generally when we get angry about something, it's due to our interpretation of the situation is the uh, main reason that we choose uh, to get angry over a situation. And I believe in general, um, one of the single most important things that we can change in order to become a better person and become a good citizen is to change our perspective, meaning our overall worldview, how we look at the world. Do we see the world as a uh, negative and or dangerous place, or do we see the world as a good place with a lot of potential and a lot of opportunities? If I see the world as negative and uh, basically that the cards are stacked against me, then that's going to affect my motivation and whether or not I feel um, that I should continue to work on myself. Because if I feel that the cards are stacked against me and it's going to, I'm going to have less motivation and it's highly likely that I'm not going to be doing the things that I'm supposed to do in order to help me to be successful. So if I walk around blaming other people, whether uh, I'm playing a victim because of my race or, um, you know, I feel that because of my economic status or whatever the case may be, that I don't stand a chance at being successful in society, then I'm not going to be very motivated to do anything. And ultimately, I won't be successful and I will fail, but it's not because I necessarily was going to fail. It's because I never put in the effort to give myself a chance to succeed. It's kind of like when people, uh, you know, one of the cliches that people say about the lottery when they say uh, you can't win if you don't play. And that's a fact, right? Even though, you know, that many people are not, as far as the lottery is concerned, many people are not necessarily going to win anyway. But it's a guarantee that you won't win if you don't play. And the same thing as it relates to our success in society, um, it's a guarantee that we will not be successful if we're not putting in any effort to move us in a direction of success, right? And I personally believe that there is nothing stopping any of us, regardless of our upbringing, regardless of our economic status, regardless of any other factors that we may uh, point the finger towards, that there is nothing to stop us from being successful. And that's regardless of whatever uh, racial perspective or anything that you may be. There is absolutely nothing to stop you. And believe it or not, there are many um, opportunities out there and many resources that you can use in order to help you to accomplish the goals that you want. Now, it may take you some research depending on, on what it is that you're trying to do, but all you have to do is put in the work. No one is going to do it for you, nor is it their job or responsibility to do so. So the next thing that I believe is important for us as it relates to becoming successful in the individuals or, or productive members of the community is to take personal responsibility for our actions and not blame other people. And when I say take personal responsibility for our actions, I'm also including uh, areas where we may ble where we may think that someone else is responsible or someone else caused us problems or someone else uh, initiated uh, some type of altercation with us. Because the thing is, you can't change what the other person does, but you can change your own behavior. So if you can figure out what part you played in that situation, then it's going to help you um, to change that situation. And ultimately, that's what we want. We want to address the situation and be able to live in a good way and to be successful in our life, not just prove that we're right or that someone else is wrong. So anyway, um, these are just some of the things that we will uh, be addressing uh, as we travel through the uh, real life anger management 
and uh, life skills program. So anyway, uh, this was just a little short one. And we will have, um, oh, I almost forgot to mention the fact that, uh, so on my uh, website, you will have opportunities to sign up for my email uh, list. Eventually, I will create a newsletter that will be going out, um, you know, to the emails and stuff, uh, people that's on that list. But also the reason to sign up for the email, because on the um, for the online anger management program uh, that I'm publishing, there will be affiliate commission available. So meaning that if you sign up with your email and I send you the invite to become an affiliate and then you put the links in your uh, social media on your page and stuff like that or in your post and have people click on the link. When they click on the link and go to my website and buy the product, you will get um, $10 every time that they, uh, whoever d d uh, decides to purchase a product. So, um, you know, that's just one incentive that's uh, helpful. But with you, if you do choose to become an affiliate and promote the product, remember, you always, once your uh, affiliate account is created, you always have to use that link. It'll give you a certain link that you'll use to copy and paste it into your post, right? You want to use that link because that's the way that it'll go back and, and I'll know that it was your account and it will automatically uh, create an invoice for me to pay you after the person person has purchased it using your link. I would also mention to your um, friends and associates, it's people that you know that are clicking the link, uh, let them know that if they, you know, initially uh, click the link, but then uh, they wait, you know, a week or two or something before they uh, actually purchase the course, rather than going directly to the course, have them go back and click your link so that, again, the invoice is generated and, and you get credit for that and you get $10 per uh, purchase. And $10 is not a lot of money, but just think uh, 10 people, that's $100. So if 10 people decide to purchase the course and uh, which you're using your link, then that's $100 for you. And if 100 people, like some of you that have huge uh, social media followings, if 100 uh, people purchase it, then that's $1,000 for you just for doing what you normally do anyway, right? Um, you don't have to create any special post or anything. You can just post whatever you post and just, oh, by the way, uh, hit this link, right? And they hit the link and you get paid. So uh, anyway, that's all for now. Uh, also, I would like to, I would appreciate like your comments and, and stuff like that as far as letting me know um, how to make things a little bit more helpful. And we will be coming out with some more videos.